give you an idea of what I think of the world or how I see the world, like how I view the world. And earlier on, they, have, they didn't have a CD player here, but they did have a, a turntable because they had to have music. They had to have sound. But the only thing they could find on vinyl here was a couple of Village People albums. And um, the memories this brings back. Uh, yeah, this, uh, yeah, this has to be a gay community center. The only vinyl, Village People. So, so in case a nuclear holocaust strikes everybody out, they'll, they'll dig this place up and find this was their civilization. <laughs> This is what they were all about. Let it be written. All right. When I was a little kid, I did not, when I was, you know, high school age, I did not believe the village people were gay. I remember telling that to a friend of mine who was straight, and he, his jaw dropped. Like, what do you mean they're not gay? Well, they're not gay. I mean, I'd listen to, like, I'd listen to their albums and stuff, and, like, I, like gay people are always saying they're gay, but they don't sing about being gay. They don't sing about having a boyfriend. They don't sing about anything. They're like, you know, you know I, innuendo wasn't enough for me. All right? I had to, like, lay it out for me, okay? There were, like, bands, like, in the, you know, late 70s, like, with punk bands. The Big Boys. The Dicks. Okay? That's gay. All right? Pete Townsend wrote a song called Rough Boys. And I, I heard it on the radio, and I'm thinking he cannot be singing about what I think he is singing about. He cannot be singing about what I think he's... I bought the album, and I dropped the needle on it, on it and... There were lyrics. It was, rough boys, come over here. I want to bite and kiss you. That's gay. The village people aren't gay. I still refuse to believe it. No. 